guys so today I have a video that a lot of you have been asking about today we are finally going to be taking a look at this tiny doll hamster maze you might remember that I picked this up a couple weeks ago I think it was in my PetSmart vlog and since then a lot of you have been asking when the video is going to come out and I'm finally going to do that today I'm sure most of you watching are aware by now because there have been a lot of videos lately but recently PetSmart released a whole new line of cages it's by the All Living Things brand, which is a PetSmart brand, and the new line of cages and toys is called Tiny Tails. And if you've seen any of the videos online, you know that most people who know anything about hamsters or small animals in general don't really like these cages. Right when they came out, I actually did a review of the race car cage. I wish I could show you how bad that cage is, but I did actually return that cage after the video. But I did a review of the race car cage, and I know a lot of other pet tubers have done other reviews of the tiny tail cages. So if you haven't seen any of those I definitely recommend searching for them on YouTube and you can see a lot of great reviews but one thing I haven't seen anyone do a review on yet is the tiny tail maze so none of the new tiny tail cages are suitable at all for any type of small pet but I did want to take a look at this maze because it's not a full-time habitat your animal's not going to be living in here and it might be kind of fun so I thought I would give the tiny tails brand a chance a little bit and just review this today and kind of take a look at it because although I'm sure it's not the best quality just because of the quality I saw with the race car cage it could be kind of a fun accessory for your animal just when you get them out at playtime so today we're going to be opening this up and taking a look so although I think I have been calling this a hamster maze most of you know that I actually don't have any hamsters right now but I do have two gerbils chicken and waffles so I'm going to be getting one of them out later in this video to test this out I'm not sure who I'll get out yet it depends on who wants to come out because they're very active so we'll just get whoever wants to come out I don't want to get them both out at the same time while I'm trying to film because I don't want one to try to run away and jump over the playpen but later in this video we'll be getting one of them out and trying out this maze so before I take it out of the box and actually show you the maze I just want to blab a little bit longer about the box itself and why I don't really enjoy this new tiny tail brand as you guys can see the box is really cute and adorable it's super colorful and there's a cute little hamster on here these are definitely marketed towards children which I understand usually hamsters specifically are more of a children's pet even though I don't really agree with that but I do know that pet stores are trying to make money and so of course they're going to market hamsters for children but I think this goes a little bit too far in my personal opinion this is pretty much turning your hamster or other small pet into a toy it's turning your living being into an accessory and I don't really agree with that while I do think it's good marketing overall for a money standpoint I don't think it's going to be good for the actual animals at all so I'm sure most of you are sick of me talking I'm sure there's already plenty of comments telling people where to skip just to see the maze so let's go ahead and I will move this camera a little bit set it up and we will open this maze and take a closer look so I'm sure this isn't the most professional setup as I say that Steve jumps up on the bed to check it out but this is what we're going to be dealing with so this is the actual box so the maze itself is just under 16 inches by 15 inches by three and a half inches tall so obviously it is pretty small i think anyone can decide that just based on the size of the box so i don't have a hamster of course to show you i'd be interested to see how a large syrian fits in here but i will be showing you with a gerbil and they are a pretty decent size so hopefully that will give you guys a pretty good idea of how big this maze actually is in addition to the actual maze itself it comes with 10 different panels that are all different colors that you can move around and switch around and then it has three tubes so of course if you do have one of their other cages which hopefully you don't you can connect it to a cage even though I wouldn't want my hamster to have access to a maze unattended anyway but I guess you can connect it um so let's go ahead and open this up I think Steve's gonna stay here and help us he is extremely hairy right now so if he looks homeless he's getting a haircut soon he's just wagging he thinks this is for him so they use good glue, so I guess that's a plus. I don't know. I'm just rambling right now, so I don't have an awkward silence. So let's pull this out. And that is everything it comes with, if I can get the bag off. So here is the actual maze. It is just the really thin plastic. It's the same plastic that the cage is made out of. And it has the bars on the front. I believe these are probably quarter inch bars. So they should be good. Like if you want to use this for a mouse, your mouse shouldn't be able to escape. So let me see. There are little clips on this side that aren't super, I guess they're pretty secure. I won't bash it where I don't need to. They are pretty secure. So we'll take that off. So there's two clips on this side and two on the opposite side. And then it comes with the assembly instructions, which just says everything it comes with. And then over on the back, it's just some more steps. And then here are lots of tape. 
I don't know why they felt the need to tape everything down so well. So it comes with three tubes, like I said, if you want to hook this up to a cage. And then the main part that actually makes this amaze at all and not just a plastic box of torture is these 10 colorful panels that just hook into these little slits right on the bottom. So you can maneuver them or configure them. Maneuver is not the right word. You can configure those however you want to build a maze. So let's go ahead and just build a simple little maze and then we'll get out one of the gerbils and check them out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop one of these out. Of course, I'm not gonna read the instructions because I think I'm smarter than I really am. So I'll just pop that out and then hook a tube to one of these. Let's see, does the plastic side hook? Once again, I would suggest reading the instructions if you're actually gonna be using this for your pet long term. Um, but that tube just snapped in there and then let me pop out this other one. That is one thing I'm not a big fan of. That actually pops out extremely easy. So if your hamster wanted to pop it out, um, I'm sure they could if you have a crazy hamster. And then we'll pop this tube in here so at least my gerbils will be able to get in and out. And now let's see if I'm actually smart enough to configure a maze. I don't know if I'll use all 10 of these pieces. But let's go ahead and put these in so they don't actually snap into place which is kind of weird they just kind of sit in those little grooves so it's not super secure um but we'll see how it goes so let's go ahead i'm trying to mix up the colors at least make it look cute if we're gonna do it let's see if i'm smart enough to actually have it go all the way through i said mix up the colors and then i put two blues right beside each other so they don't give you that many pieces, so I guess it's good that the maze isn't that big. And heck, look how smart I am. I have the exact right number of pieces. So I wouldn't really say it's a real maze because since they don't give you a ton of pieces, there's only one direction my gerbil is gonna be able to go. It's not like he can go to a dead end. I guess I can switch, we'll switch that one around so he can go she, I don't know why I'm calling my gerbil a boy. So there is a dead end there, but overall it would have been nice with a few more pieces, but I guess with the maze this small, it's only a four by four grid. So there's not too many options, but that's what the maze is looking like. Let me go ahead and snap this wire back on top. Like I said, the one good thing about this is that it is very secure. I do like those snaps. Over time, I don't know how they'll hold up because they are just plastic and I could see them snapping off if you use it a lot. Um, but right now those are pretty good snaps. So once again, I'm going to rearrange everything, set up the camera. I'm gonna grab one of my gerbils, probably chicken because chicken is actually out right now. And I'll put my playpen up so she doesn't escape and we'll see how she does in the maze. Okay, so I just set everything up. I did have to kick my lovely assistant Steve out for this part because even though he is a great assistant, he is a dog and he would like nothing more than to eat chicken. So he is out crying at the gate for me, but this is the maze setup. I do have the playpen out around it so chicken can come out and run around and not run away while she's out. I put up a couple playpens so it's big enough so we're actually in the playpen with her. Neither of my gerbils are huge fans of treats, but I did go ahead and put a couple pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds inside the maze because she is a really big fan of those. So hopefully that will entice her to run through a little bit and she doesn't just freak out. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab chicken and we'll get her out and see what she does. Okay so little change of plans. Waffles actually decided to come out instead of chicken. Chicken decided to hide as soon as I went in to get her. So we have waffles here today and of course she's just gonna check out the top of the maze. I'm just gonna let her walk around for a minute see what she does. See if she'll go in the tube by herself because I don't want to shove her in a tube and freak her out. So let's just watch waffles and see what she does with the maze. All right so she's been out for a little while and she definitely doesn't want to go in the tube. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the top off of the maze so she'll go in there and then I'll put the top on slowly once she goes in. It is a wire top so it's not like I'm just shoving her in there so let me go ahead and just unsnap these sides and we'll see if she'll climb on in there herself she's just running around pretty much exploring the whole playpen like I said I do have two playpens hooked together right now so it's a pretty big area for her to explore so she's just having a good time doing that she doesn't care about the video at all. I would try to take the whole thing off and then have her go in, but I know if I do that, she'll jump out before I can get the whole lid back on. Okay, so I got her to go in her little nest, so we'll see if I can get her to go. There we go. And she's gonna go right out the tube. So let me snap that shut. And I know it's pretty hard to see her in there, but she is checking it out. 
Once again, it's kind of hard to tell if she's having fun or if she's just stressed out because it's not like she stayed in there a long time and once she's in there, it's not like she really has a choice. She definitely doesn't seem like she wants to go back in there. But overall, size-wise, I do think seeing her in there that it would be fine for a Syrian hamster. But once again, with a maze like this, I don't think they're that beneficial. She found one of her seeds, I can see, and she brought it out to eat. I don't think a maze like this is that beneficial just because you can't really tell if your pet's enjoying it unless they go in by themselves to get treats. I do think it could be a fun activity for treats, just some enrichment, just to get their brain going a little bit. But it's not something that I would feel comfortable using that often. Of course, all hamsters and small pets are different. You might have one hamster that loves it and loves going in to find treats. And you might have another hamster that's just really not interested and gets stressed out in there. So it is up to your individual hamster. Overall, I do think this is a lot better quality than the cages, like I said at the beginning. Just because your pet's not going to be in there full time, it's not like they're living in the little cramped space. It is $20 though, and if you buy it, you are supporting the new Tiny Tails brand. I do return these after the video so they're not making any money off the brand. I just don't really want to support that brand because all the cages are pretty bad and I really hope they take them off the market but it is a decent option if you're looking for a maze. So that was my little review and look at the new Tiny Tails maze and my assistant Waffles helping me out. Like I said I don't think the build quality on this is awful so I don't think it's a complete waste of money like all of the cages are. But at the same time, I don't really suggest going out and getting it just because if you support the Tiny Tails brand in general, the company is going to be making money off of it and they're going to keep making those cages. So even though this one product might not be the worst overall, I don't really enjoy the new line of items at all. And like always, this is just my personal opinion. Of course, you guys can support whatever companies or products you want. I do get a lot of comments on these types of videos. People get mad that I'm bashing a product, but I have my opinions and I love sharing them with you guys because a lot of you guys really seem interested because you don't want to go out and buy the products yourself. So I just kind of test them out. So in my opinion, while this product isn't awful, I'm going to give it credit because it is decently well made, I think. I just can't really get behind supporting it just because of the overall line of products. I don't really agree with what the company is doing and how they're marketing them for children. Even though, yes, hamsters are generally pets marketed towards children. I think this new Tiny Tails line kind of goes to the extreme and I'm not a huge fan of it so let me know your opinions down in the comments. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, I would love to hear why. As long as we can have a discussion, I love hearing everyone's opinions because everyone's opinions are valid and it's cool just to kind of see where other people are coming from. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time.